In this video, we are going to see how to enable this sales and inventory forecast extension in Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'll show you how to enable the extension and how to use it. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to get the updates about all the new technology videos. The sales and inventory forecast extension is used to predict potential sales by using historical data. This extension gives you a clear overview of expected stockouts. The sales and inventory extension uses Cortana intelligence and which is used to analyze historical data to predict future demand. This is used to base the procurement decision on accurate and reliable forecast. Let us see four important usage of this extension. Number one, avoid lost revenue. Number two, discover the trends. Number three, optimize shipping cost. And number four, boost your brand reputation by always delivering an orders. Let us see how to enable the extension. Let us first check whether the sales and forecast extension is already enabled. To check that, you have to go to the search and search for the item list page. Okay, once if you press item, it will show up like this. So this is item and list page. So click there and scroll down. Okay, scroll down. You can see on the right side forecast fact box. So this we call it as a fact box. Okay, here you can see that sales forecast not available for this item because we haven't enabled this. In order to enable this, let us go and search. So again, you have to go this like go to this tell me feature, click there and type sales and inventory forecast. So once if you type sales and inventory forecast, it will show you an option called sales and inventory forecast setup. So click that. So it will open up a new page where you can click here update forecast. OK, you have to select update forecast. So it is showing that sales forecast are being updated in the background. This might take a, might take a few minutes. So just click OK. <clears throat> Let us wait for that to be updated. So once if you refresh, so after a few minutes, you know, if you refresh that, you can see that in the stat statistics, you can see some options here. So here it is not by default, it is not enabled, right? So here you can see the option. Okay. So here you can see that last run is completed and this is the processing time which is used for. Now let us go back to the item page and see whether it is updated or not. So this is the item page. Refresh this. Let us wait for it to load. Now let us go and check in the forecast fact box whether it is updated or not. Here you can see that this is the forecast fact box and it is showing that uh, it is showing some data here. Okay. So if you want to change the forecast setting, you can simply click here and you can see that you have a forecast setting. Okay. So if you click here, it will open up a page like how it opened like previously. If you want to do some changes over here, you can do it. Okay, so to make prediction about the future sales, the web services requires a quantitative data about the past sales because based on the past sales only, you will get some uh, proper prediction, right? So it it will go and check it, it. You need some proper data for that. Okay, so you have to uh, the data you you will be typing which comes from the posting date, item number, quantity quantity fields item ledger entry pages so all these things so we have we should have at least five data to uh, predict the sales okay
let us try to populate that for 2022 so that uh, you may get something over here okay so you have to go and search for item list uh, sorry item journal page click here item journal and try to add something uh, for this okay let us have uh, let us i'm trying to add few data here okay and also i'm just giving some quantity so here let me check i'm just populating five quantities here five entries here One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So once it, everything is done, go to post and print and click post and print or you can simply select post which will be applied to the journal lines. So all the lines are posted. Click come back. Let us see any changes is there okay you can see the changes here that previously it shows like the negative uh, bar graph okay because there is no proper entry now we have an entry so it is predicting for the month okay you can see that here it is predicting okay so now let us click here if you want to change the setting click for the uh, forecast setting and you can see here that period type that is based on the month it is showing okay you can see here that what is the forecast for uh, the next month okay that is now we are in seven so it is showing for eight and ninth month so if you want to change that fine if you want to change that you can simply go to the settings this is so that because we don't have enough data so if you have enough data definitely it will be posting or else if you want to uh, go for a quarter or year then that also will work out and then you have to update here update forecast for all the item so this will take a few minutes even you can try for the days and you can update the forecast and see whether it is working out provided you have a proper entries for that okay because since we have only five entries that two for today if you go ahead with the prop at least we have more than five entries uh, based on the previous date so it can uh, forecast for the next day so it is being updated let us go back and here you can see that it is refreshing so what we did is what we did for quarterly basis so you can see that this is the uh, april month july and here you can see this is october uh, and this is 2023 you can see that this is for 2023 forecast that is uh, uh, jan and this is for april so this is quarterly basis so whenever you are trying to uh, change the settings okay you can just go here and forecast settings you have to change you can change it if you want to do it for an year that is also fine let us try again with the day by updating the forecast okay um, because anyhow since we don't have the proper data it may take some time okay okay so let us see whether it is working out or else just leave the day and then go ahead with the quarterly monthly even year you can try year update that and see how it is working out okay okay variants are too high because you know like we have updated we haven't updated we don't have the proper uh, record for that you have to add more data for that so let us go ahead with the year 
okay and then that is uh, uh, you can click here so whenever you change the period type just try to update the forecast okay so that you can that changes will be updated to the uh, item entry item page just update the forecast once you click update forecast you will get this risk get this pop-up ensure that you are getting this pop-up and once it is done one, you can see that this is saved once you are done with this you can just go back to the uh, items page where not enough historical data yes because we've, since we are trying to find out for the year so at least we should have the data for one year okay one year data should be there but for in our uh, case we have only five entry that too for today current date we have entered now so that is what the reason it is showing so it is better as of now if uh, we will just go ahead with what like a month okay if you want something for a uh, year or day then ensure that you have a, a specific uh, that is that much data in historical data in your uh, uh, page okay so this is what horizon you can see if you just uh, keep your uh, cursor over there it will show what is that the specifies how many periods you want to forecast to cover and this is the api specifies the api URA for the uh, azure machine learning if you are connecting with any other customized one then this is the last run completed and it is the processing time and if you want to set up, set up a scheduled forecasting then you can click here to set up it uh, if you want a schedule forecasting to happen okay let us drop time out like every 12 hours every eight hours or something like that you can just go here and set up that or else if you want to just dynamically do it you can do it so whenever you are changing the date automatically this forecast fact box will appear in your item item page okay so here you can see that so once and also remember whenever you are changing this period type okay that monthly or weekly or quarterly just click update forecast so that this specific changes which you have made in the setup will be updated back to the fact box and you can see the result i hope you find something useful in this video if you have any specific uh, expectation regarding the bz 365 you can just comment it I will definitely try to help you out in that. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.